Hello, I'm Jasper. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is my setup for the moment. And uh, now for I'm programming a, a rig and uh, for this rig I have just one line used, but I will be flexible to use all of them. So I have a Novation Launchpad um, and this one MK2 and this one here I just put my colors. So this one is black. Uh, amber, white, magenta, orange, warm white, red, pink, and blue. So these are the colors I just used for this um, setup. And then on uh, on the AK uh, APC Mini, I have uh, here my FX on the same row, and then I have the control uh, intensity control over uh, this uh, all the this this group. Of lights, so I've been a little bit lucky because it's lining <laughs> up. Despite these are two different brands, these 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 col these 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 columns they they line up pretty well. So that's um, I should not say a lucky shot, uh, but uh, that's uh, a cool thing to know. So I just show this is the um, I have everything uh, mapped on with my. Uh, uh, Kempsis uh, PC wing compact and uh, this is just my visualizer for the moment it I did not I just added a, a bunch of uh, LED lights because uh, for uh, for the gig I am I'm working with uh, I just have uh, really a lot of LEDs RGB uh, fixtures and I put a virtual dimmer on it and this one is controlling my uh, virtual dimmer so when I Shades down, fade in. So the visual is a little bit laggy, but that's uh, that's okay. So I have here uh, my tap to time. So, so tap tap. So and if I slow down, tap tap. So this, if you take a good uh, view at this one, it's a uh, one, two, three, four um, uh, parts FX. So I can change the two parts. And I have, uh, I can turn off my, I can ch choose my color. I say color one is black color 2 is white so it's doing a black and white color a chase so this is the two part and I can do it a snap and I can do it a fade so furthermore I can turn off my color graphics and then I can just choose my colors here and I can give a delay of three seconds so when I change to blue it's getting to blue in three seconds so for transition so that are the main things I put in, the, in the, here in the FX so uh, how did I do it okay I'll explain so for now I just uh, close the visualizer and here I will go, I made my execute and I go to view design. So I made my colors here. The colors I would like to use, I, 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 I programmed in here. I go just back to the execute. So the colors are in my novation. So I have the black, amber, white, magenta, orange, warm, red, pink and blue. So these are these are typically these here. So this above one is black. So I didn't give it a color, but I can give it a color, but it's useless. Then I have uh, amber, white, magenta, orange, warm white, red, pink, and blue. So for for this gig, I am I am just using these colors. It's there there was no green involved or, or uh, any uh, or cyan or, or uh, yellow. So this is. The colors I'm using. Feel free to, to use the colors you want to. So 
uh, and then uh, the red area that's on my uh, AK or Akai the APC mini so that's uh, my affix with two parts or four parts that's a three second fade uh, with a, uh, the affix is fading or snapping and I can set my two colors and uh, I can uh, activate or deactivate my two color affix and I can do a tap rate and here uh, that's the group that's the, the, the I copy the group here and this is the intensity master on the uh, of, of this group and that's the fader uh, it just this this block here so uh, all the controls of my MIDI are mapped to the execute so uh, to translate the MIDI to a language that Kempsis is understanding um, I'm using OSC and uh, it's going over a show cockpit so uh, to to I, I understand when you have to use it uh, you have to be out of demo mode so I have here a blue hardware attached so that's not a problem so I check here um, I will open show cockpit and then I will go into my elements so show cockpit is they have a free they have a dim a demo version where you can try everything you want and uh, it's working for a limited amount limited amount of time but you can use a the, you can buy a pro license but you can also use uh, all uh, buy the separate drivers and then you it's it's a lot cheaper just buy what you what you need so uh, i have one driver it's called magic osc so from shell cockpit on i can trigger uh, magic q uh, in OSC, osc language and uh, here the uh, i can receive and send midi to the archive apc mini novation launchpad mk2 uh, i can use that as well um, the Akai apc mini it can not do rgb on the on the buttons it can do uh, uh, green yellow and red and they can blink and and they and it can do black as well so like these buttons oh, these buttons they are black so but that's it you cannot set purple color and then say okay you can you cannot make these buttons purple or 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 or, or um, uh, again or, or blue or anything what is containing blue or or, or nice amber or uh, pink you cannot do it you cannot do it you can just use these basic colors so for the launchpad mk2 you you can do almost like rgb so that's uh that's pretty pretty good for what i needed so that's why i put my colors here and i put my affix here so and my fader is down so i have always all, all the time control now when when i move my fader up and down or when I'm pushing a button, it's giving always uh, feedback uh, in the uh, shell cockpit view. So um, for the colors, it was pretty straight on. So to 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 map the colors on the execute, because you, the colors are LTP value and the last the last um, if 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 I say uh, black then uh, it's going black but um, when I release the button it's staying in black because the latest takes priority so um, when uh, for the FX so basically when you push a button in, in, a, in a mini a MIDI device you say okay press a button that's the press state or the the, the, the activate state uh, state and then you release the button and that's a release state state so for the color for the color is not a problem because they stay where they were but for example uh, for fx that's a it's a problem uh, because when i press uh, for example two color fx when i press the button okay it's doing two color for color fx 
and I run I release the button, it's going back to normal state without the FX. So, uh, and therefore uh, I had to implement a button toggler. So basically, the AK the Akai APC Mini is uh, uh, triggering the button toggler. So and the button toggler is triggering. Um, the Magic Q OSC. So, in my case, and um, if you have the same, if you have the same setup or would like to make the same setup, setup. So I have here uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows, uh, and uh, eight columns and nine rows. So, so that's basically here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I have nine because this one above, that's, I call it the black one. This, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm using the first nine times eight is 72. Um, I, I use this, the, the first 72 um, execute buttons on my Novation launchpad. And the next, also we use the same, so uh, eight width, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I have to make my execute page a little bit bigger because here is um, here is ten, and I have to make it at least eleven, but if would like to do some future more mapping with because i have some spare keys on my uh, yeah. launch pad and here as well if i do like to do more i can make it even more higher so now i have my i go to the view design uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen 20 20 you need at least but i made it 24 or something so uh so when you start making this you have to go to um uh when you like to make an execute grid you go to out um view plan uh no no you have to go sorry you have to go to execute and then uh then you have to an execute and here you say set grid size so that's where you have to say eight by i will i will not override it but you can do at least 20 but uh, let's say 24 and then you hit the enter button and then you get a grid then you go to you you choose your color colors which you like to use because you will have an empty grid i will i will make a new one so this is my uh Grid number, okay, this grid number three. Okay, I will set grid size uh, eight by 24, enter, and then you go to your color and you say copy. It's a little bit annoying, but uh, first of all, press clear, uh, copy. And then I choose the colors I would like to use, for example. Uh, but yes, uh, I will use, uh, like I did the black one on the top. And then I have copied it and it's asking me to send a destination. Put it there. So, and so you repeat it for all the other colors. So you, you, you just go to color, um, copy. And then you choose a color and you paste it here or you even make more colors if you'd like to have more and then uh, you paste it uh, so I just uh, did I do copy yes I did do copy I will I will, I will take uh, uh, in this case uh, um, orange and I I copied it there and then uh, for my innovation launch, but I will end up here somewhere. And then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I go to my 
Akai APC and then uh, assign special for the, the FX and then I just uh, choose here shortly all busking and then I just move the parameters which I would like to use here in this row and then for the uh, so I can I can um, rem uh, remove a move for example remove this one because I don't need the node times so I will and then I move for example um, what did I use there um, you can do parts two or something parts two to there and then here you make sh you you get part four and all of the parameters you want to use but only for one two three four five six seven eight nine maximum so you can go here until you get nine more uh, nine in total and then you have to uh, take your group in this case i have uh, LEDs uh, I can copy it okay I will copy LEDs and then I put an execute and I put it uh, one two three one two three four five six seven eight nine and then the tent that is oh, I have to move it even more down move okay I leave it here so now I go back to group the group is still I just press shortly clear select the group uh, get the intensity at 100% uh, press record so record and then uh, just you can give it a name or not but you put it here and that's the that's for assigning the intensity to the fader so just to make sure you, you may we, it's right now it has a button but we change it to fader and you get here a fader so when uh, uh, so when I'm opening my fader first of all clear and when you are finished with this line when it's completely full you do like this and then you say uh, set region and then you see the colors become uh, visible so it means the colors are applied on this group and then uh, this one is the fader so so that's and when you're completely finished you will get something like this so this is my fader so so that's uh, how you do it on the Kempsis side, on the Magic Q side, and on the uh, RD shell cockpit side. You have to uh, add elements, so you, you can choose for the uh, uh, lighting, Kempsis, OSC. You choose this one, then you get here Magic Q OSC. Make sure. Uh, when it's off, it's not activated, you can set here the correct IP address and outgoing port and incoming port and that's what you have to set in um, in your setup then you have then you have your network, I have to take a look again yes, OSC mode OSC mode has to uh, be set on TX and RX, OSC TX port 9000 and uh, RX port is 8000. So these are corresponding with uh, that these outgoing port, incoming port. So and the IP it has to uh, has to match. So yes, okay. So after that you can turn it on. Okay. Sorry for the blurry text. And then you can add Aka APC Mini. You can add the launchpad. These are elements. Uh, external control. 
under MIDI and then you can see the compatible uh, MIDI devices so you have the uh, APC Mini here you have also the uh, Novation Launchpad MK2 that's this was I this is what I was using but you can use uh, any any of these uh, uh, straight out of the box or you can do um, uh, generic MIDI but then you have a lot of uh, things to program and uh, then uh, we have these two and then in the uh, I have to take a look okay so if you go to utilities then you go to console convert and then you have here the button toggler so that's these these three we these four elements you have to add here and then so what i'm saying novation launchpad i go to mapping because i have to map the keys to corresponding with um, uh, campuses so i will sh first start with the easiest one is the novation so it has uh, 80 buttons but uh and if you this is pet 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And this is the second pet, row of pets. It goes on. But the first for me is this one. So these are the black buttons for me. So the, the black colors. So uh, it is saying here pet 1.1, but I go down first. Uh, here, up, down, left, right. So that these are up down left right and so on then you have session user one so that's all 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 of these parameters these are assigned so uh, basically what it's doing up is triggering execute one uh, and fixed page page number one so when you make your uh, your your execute window make sure you use um, execute number one of your first execute grid uh, for for the mapping on your uh, MIDI devices so uh, so this one is triggered a second third fourth fifth so it's going from left to right also in the in the campuses I go back to my execute page so this is uh, execute page one uh, the first uh, execute button, the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eight, and then here is nine. So it's going uh, like you're reading a book: first line completely, then the second line, fourth line. So that's that's how it's uh, be counting, like you're reading, it's counting. So back to show cockpit. Then uh, you can assign them all. So so you see here. Pet 1.1 1 .1 is starting with 9, 10, 11 item. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60 uh, here. And then it's 17, 18, 19, 20. So so you see row 2, first pet is 17. And that's going on until it has eight rows here so i end with number 72 so like i said the colors just tap and it's going to the color and it's uh, changing back uh, campus is not providing information back from uh, the execute so uh, i don't think there was a um, Control uh, a lighting uh, table which is giving feedback about the status of the color. So I just put them if even it's on or not. I just give it a fixed color. So I don't use uh, button feedback or something like that. Uh, can be done, but this setup is the is the easy one. Okay, then uh, for the FX, I just make some. Here I have some button feedback uh, programmed from the from the button toggler. Uh, so then I know when my fade from three seconds is on, uh, uh, whether it's on or not, 
and also whether my two color graphics is, is uh, running uh, yes or no so so right now it's not and these are two parts four parts and it is fade and snap so uh, there was no feedback coming back from um, from campuses so I just give them a, a color and just these two are two parts or four parts they are like the same kind of function so I give them the same color this is the um, three seconds fade uh, and this is also uh, fade and snap so I have to choose this one or this one but uh, that's why I also I give them the same color and here I have set color one set color two so that there's a they have also a similar function and this is the two color fix and this is the um, depth to time so it's giving it's giving not it's, I, I put them in blinking mode because then I know it's for depth to time it's on it's always on so uh, no matter the, how fast I, I tap here the blinking sequence is always the same okay back about now I go to my uh, I will go to my button toggler yes so I have my button toggler and I have um, no I go first to AK the AK APC mini and here okay Oh, yes here are my buttons so I have a button toggler uh, program because when I'm like I said when I'm when I'm uh, pressing um, here two color graphics it was active and I, when I released it it was not active anymore so uh, that's why I use the button toggler uh, so then I don't have to keep the button pushed to get my affix and uh, so I map my uh, all my buttons from the from the Akai mini APC I mapped them to the button toggler so my uh, uh, my pet 1.1 is uh, triggering button 1 so and then I have here at the end I have 72 buttons so I have um, eight times nine so that's uh, how it's calculated so I have also 72 buttons and then when I go to campuses back to campuses OSC uh, oh, no I go to my button toggler and my button toggler is, is triggering campuses OSC so here my button toggler is button number one which was actually this one uh, mapped on my AK mini uh, APC is now triggering here uh, execute item 73 which is in my execute window go back to campuses and I will go to view execute which is this one so 73, 74, 75, 76, and, and so on. So I go back to show cockpit. So I did all them assign to there. So I end up with 144. And then I have my, uh, on my Akai mini APC here. Uh, it has also faders and the faders there, uh, starting with 145 146 so my faders they are coming like here you know my faders mapped already so on that so and these are the spare places i have to put my group somewhere so to get my set region so i have to put my group somewhere and then uh, make sure the group and the intensity of the are in the same of the of the of the group are in the uh, same region so don't uh, put this fader here and uh, the group name here 
but yeah you have to make sure the set region isn't all, all on the same so take a look did i miss something or forgot something and i have here some but it's not used but for example you can make a black out of this one but when you have blue hardware you have also your direct blackout and at swap you can you can do you, you can make it the same copies here and the master or you can you can assign like a, as, as, if, if you're doing a theater show you, you maybe the, the the audience light or something you can put on on, on, on this uh, uh, fader um, that's that's tr uh, pretty straight uh, straight away so uh, what else did I do okay and uh, to get the colors on the innovation launchpad um, I go back to my elements uh, innovation launch uh, I click double and then uh, I say okay what is the status when the color is on and when the color is off so when the color is off and there is no button feedback it's just doing this so you can choose a color here any color you want and then uh, you for example I, 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 I say green and then for example I would like to have this this row green then it's green then you have it but in my case it is white so I change I just put it back here on white and then I change it all these back to white. So that's how you assign colors on the AP, Akai APC Mini. Go back to elements. So the off state. So when you need would like to change when when the uh, when the status is off uh, from from group. So right now. Like here is it's yellow. I can make it blinking when it's off, or I can make it black, green, flashing green, red, flashing red, yellow, yeah, and flashing yellow. So that's that's all you can do. So and then you can change the when I press here, and I will do it right now. Then you see this is my on state. So and my off state is this. And my on state is that so it's pretty pretty forward it's that's uh pretty easy okay back to elements i think i covered it all um of course you have to connect your cables with usb cables to the same pc um, to get it all running um furthermore I don't know. Um, the possibilities are endless. You can you can put all buttons here doing different things. You can say you can even add more colors and and one one fader for intensity, one fader for example for if you have a ruby LED beam you can use for the zoom. How how big your 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 zoom is and then you can put here much more effects inside and then you then you have two rows two rows for. Uh, two columns for 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 each fit for each group you can yeah you can do a lot of things uh you can you can put movement controls movement avix here so you can do a lot of uh a lot of stuff with with these uh um bd device and the possibilities the possibilities are limitless because you can uh, add more um MIDI devices it's, it's virtually unlimited how much MIDI devices you can uh, uh, connect to your uh, camsys or over show cockpit in my case um, that's that's uh, yeah that should be about it if you have comments uh, questions or anything else please let me know I will be happy to help you and uh, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel um okay ciao